I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Real Expert. In my last video, I promised you a video on cortisol. A lot of guys send me emails saying, you know, Steve, I'm worried about spending too much time in the gym, lifting too hard, too heavy, too long, and having my body release cortisol, and then I end up losing size and strength. Same thing with cardio. Steve, if I do too much cardio, do it too hard, do it too long, will it release cortisol and make me smaller? The answer is no. You have to remember, cortisol is a hormone that is released because of stress and anxiety, not because of adaptation. We need to train our bodies and force our bodies to adapt. That's where working out comes in. You work out, your body overcomes or adapts to that stress, and you become bigger and stronger. Without that stress of working out, you wouldn't become bigger or stronger. So you need that stress. And believe it or not, the harder you train, and the more frequently you train, the bigger and stronger you will get. Same thing with cardiovascular activity. You do cardio, it improves your cardiovascular ability. You do it harder, longer, or more frequently, it improves your performance that much faster. So remember, you need that kind of stress for your body to adapt and get bigger and stronger. When cortisol is released, it's usually released because of stress and anxiety. You're worried about something, job, money, relationships, loss of a family member, something like that, anxiety. When the light goes off in your rear view mirror and you're speeding, that's when cortisol is released. Not when you're working out. I hardly think most of the people you see in the gym are working out too much or too hard. Do any of them look too good? Hardly. Okay? Our gym is filled with lots of fat, out of shape people who are doing their best to get in shape. But I hardly think they're training to the point where their body's releasing tons of cortisol. So cortisol is typically released because of an emotional response. It's a fight or flight type of hormone. That's when cortisol is released, not when you're lifting real intensely. That's what's needed to make muscles grow and become bigger and stronger. As a matter of fact, if you are experiencing lots of stress and anxiety to the point where you are losing size, you are losing sleep, you can't maintain your strength, then you possibly need a supplement like phosphatidylserine. That has been known to drop cortisol levels by 40%. You can buy it over the counter at a, a health food store. It's expensive. A bottle of 60 might cost you $40. It's one of the key ingredients in our weight loss supplement, Great Fat Loss Pill. And the reason is, is by lowering somebody's cortisol levels, it causes their body to utilize fat better. So again, if somebody is stressed because they're trying to lose weight, they're uptight, they're not sure what to do, it is a great supplement to take. It's an essential fatty acid. You can find it in a variety of green leafy vegetables, or you can take it in a pill form. It's rather expensive. We put it in our great fat loss pill. It's much cheaper. And we also combine it with caffeine and willow bark to help control the appetite. So that's the truth about cortisol. I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart, train hard.